One short whistle blast gets the attention of a baver. Two short whistle blasts. I need to talk to another member of my lifeguard team, get their attention for something in the pool. And then three short whistle blasts. I might need to go in and do a rescue and I need to tell everybody that's where I'm going. Can I have a green whistle? If you like, yes. Well, thank goodness for that. Next tip, use a really high chair to get a brilliant view. The lifeguards are constantly watching the pool. We use scanning patterns as well, so we might do a side-to-side -side motion, they might do up and down the pool. They're constantly changing the way they're doing things to keep themselves aware. And finally, for more serious cases, use the really important rescue board to help get casualties out of the water safely. We're really worried more about spinal injury, so by having them on a board, we've got them supported and we can strap them so they don't move anymore. We're not going to make that injury any worse. The lifeguards secure the straps gently but tightly around the casualty to prevent causing more injury. Thanks, Donna. There's a lot to remember. We've seen how important the lifeguards are at keeping us safe while we're swimming and how they respond to emergencies. But how will Chris and I do when we're thrown in the deep end? Get it? Get it? It's time for us to take over as lifeguards. Our challenge is to spot if someone's in danger. Use the correct whistle signals to alert the other lifeguards to help. And use the rescue board to get a swimmer with a suspected spinal injury out of the water quickly and safely. Sean, have you got a handle on the different whistle signals? Go on, test me, test me. It's lunchtime. This could be embarrassing. With extra poolside lifeguards on hand to keep swimmers safe, Donna will be judging our every move and picking a winner. Chris, you're up first. Lifeguard Kieran is pretending to be an injured swimmer. Will Chris spot him? He got the right number of whistles on that one. Three whistles means he's on his way in. What are you doing now, Chris? So I almost strapped Sam to the board. Sam's just one of the lifeguards helping, not the patient. Sorry, Sam. Ah, oh, beginner's error, eh, Donna? Head strap's a little bit slow. Uh-oh, quicker, Chris. He's not doing too well at the moment. Oh, dear. You need a strong finish here, Chris. What do you think, Donna? These are a little bit on the loose side. A bit loose, really. A bit loose. These are really loose. Oh, really? Well, that's not good. Time to move aside, Chris, and watch how the master does it. Yeah, right. Your turn. Here comes our fake casualty. Have you seen him, Zand? Zand? Zand! Oh, oh, oh! Two whistles to get the other lifeguard's attention. He spotted him, he's given the right signals. And another three to say he's on his way. He's run right past the board. Oh, Zand. That's not good. He's quickly got this chest strap on, and now he's going for the head strap. Really jerking those straps into place now. Whoa there, careful! Oh. This is going to be a tight contest. Time to see who came out on top. A few things from both of you. Chris, you started off really well. It all fell apart a little bit when you got the board in, though. And then when we lifted out, the straps were quite loose. But Zand, it was a little bit the other way around for you. The guy was face down in the water for quite a while before you reacted. You ran right past the board and had to come back for it. But putting it in didn't go too badly. So your verdict for today, guys? It's a draw. A draw? We were both equally amazing. Yes, or equally rubbish. We learned a lot today, but I would say that overall, Donna, it is best if we leave it to the experts. Zand, let's hand our whistles back. 